So I'm going to rag on my favorite whipping boy, the oil heat technician, and talk a little bit about barometric draft regulators. Now this was installed um, probably about 30 years ago, and that's a new one though. It's, uh, this was the original, and you can see the pin is kind of worn in there. And when it was originally it was installed, it was at a very rakish angle indeed. And the weight was set in V mode, which is vertical, where it should have been set in H mode for horizontal. So this thing was way off. And then, when you took the, that off, what they had done is they had cut the tiniest hole they could get away with. So that thing was pretty well nigh useless. And the last time this was checked, on the 1-22-2019, and it was 0 0.06 draft. Well, now it's 0 0.04. It's probably a little bit high, but a lot better now. So that's, uh, that takes care of that. The original boiler we just removed was a Burnham V75, which is about 30 years old. It finally just rotted out. And now, what we've got in here is a Well McLean SGO, SGO5. Yep. And uh, it is tight in this closet space here. Get a shot of that. It's oil fired still. That's why it's got an oil barometric. We've got this set to the lowest setting. Even though it comes set to 9 from the factory, we, of course, turn it down, check it. It's our sight glass fitting. Sight glass blow down. Cycle guard out front. Service switch. Our skim tapping with this, hopefully, goo trapping 90. We got an old... Our burner, we hope to eventually switch this out to gas. Quarter turn drain there. A plug for access for cleaning there. And we're coming off at two and a half inches. Got our VXT here. It's 120 volt VXT. And we reversed the flow. manual bypass. This is Rob's beautiful job. I've got the um, uh, t tapping off there. I'm going to have to add other things later to this, of course. Um, we rerouted this around the top so that the top can be removed without uh, interfering with the piping or the piping interfering with that. So we've got this complicated setup here because we've got this beautiful four inch header. I just didn't have the heart to uh, destroy this header. Uh, so we've got a two and a half by four coupling. Uh, and unfortunately it uh, it was a little too much for that nipple, so it uh, started leaking. So we may have to switch that out, hopefully not anytime soon. This you see here is just enough room in here to change your mind. There's your oil line. You got it up on blocks. Really into this tight space here. Uh, this was this was where the uh, feeder came in. 
That's where it was originally. This is to the uh, basement bathroom. The feeder, by the way, was a VXT. However, it was second generation VXT. It was uh, the type that did not display uh, the, um, the number of times it fed. So it's now being added to my uh, collection. So we got the original wet return. It was replaced at some point, probably when the um, um, this basement was uh, finished off. Uh, they added a, they added a drain as sort of an afterthought, and I added another drain on that T there because you can never have enough drains on a, on a on a system. I've got to transition to a. Uh, Shut off valve and a brass T uh, stainless steel street L and a cast iron T. Now, this was copper, and I just removed the uh, copper and put this in an in threaded steel and replaced this. Another drain in the back, as always. <laughs> and uh, this is where we tie in the feed. Uh, again, that's a brass nipple, a shut-off valve, and uh, then it ties into the copper in the back. And there's the pressure um, relief valve. I've got it on a uh, compression fitting, three-quarter male by seven-eighths compression. So this can be removed easily without bringing a torch back here if you don't have to. This, again, to access for uh, cleaning out. There's the back of the... That's the original um, seven inch flue there. Normally we come out the back, but there's just not enough space here to, to make this transition. So we cap this off and uh, we've coming out the top here. It makes it a little harder to get this top off without taking all this apart, but uh, I think we'll be okay. And the way steam head sets up these burners, this thing will probably require no cleaning at all. Um, so I think we'll have a, a good time there. And thank you very much.